They are all forms of human beings on earth. In my quest to find out about the less privileged in my society, I have been able to meet all sorts of people. I have lived with them, found out how they think, and also how they go about their daily activities. I realized that some of the privileged and even handicaps are even better off than some of the so-called privileged that we do admire in our society. That is if we go by the assertion that happiness comes from within. This is the touristic Limbe town of the southwest region of Cameroon of the Central African sub-region. My intention here is to change the situation of the handicap around the city. I have been able within the past three days with the help of the Limbe City Council to identify some of these people and I have come to live with them. My first observation is that the worst handicaps here have been able to accept their situations and are having a better life. Where do you do your thing? Eh, uh, Colin. Okay. You need a fake work now. Uh, I just manage, I just manage her because I don't be still like that. This is going this is going on as well. And mostly they don't go this woman they would work for it office or see easy. They used to get around. And then so one day they were you go for cafeteria. Because some cafeteria and they buy. So one day just give the most of the money they buy and they are going up for now open and when I open and also stand there. Go for one go shop again most of them young girl. Most of them are going to get the party. So they didn't help me too because if I were to buy weed in the cellar, it would be very expensive to me. They just give me some moderate kind of way. Take my friend away and it's when they walk so 
I am an electronic technician by profession. I did accounting. I did uh, secretarial duty. I'm an actor and a music singer. I also play bass guitar. Well, when I grew up, my mother told me that it was polio. So I never take it as uh, any challenge. I pick up from there. You see, when I was in the handicap center in Miami, so there were many handicaps there. So I saw one blind man there that was weaving baskets, many other things. So when I saw this man, as young as I was that time, and because I was always crying that my friends are playing football, I cannot play football, they are doing other things I cannot do, they are going to places I cannot go. But when I met this man, I realized that I can also do something. If this, if somebody like this who is not seen can create this kind of thing, then I can see I have two hands, I'm strong, my brain is okay, I think I can do better than that. So from there I begin to build myself up to the feet. So when I grew up and I, I lost my father, I lost my father when I left uh, uh, secondary school, when I had my O levels, I left secondary school, there was no way for me to continue my education. So I decided now to I decided now to learn a treat. That is where I went to learn electronics. From electronics now, somebody encouraged me that I can do more than that. So I went to a professional school where I did accounting and executive duty. The few who haven't accepted jazz are the few who have become beggars in the limbo streets. But deep in the mind's eye of these who have decided to be able to do things for themselves, I see genuine happiness of success in the back part of their minds. Success that many able people have not been able to meet yet is what I see within some of them. All of them have different stories on how their looks are different. Okay, I was knocked by a vehicle um, around the Sonara Road because I live in Mukundange. I was knocked by a vehicle around the year 1984 when I was still a kid in primary school. So thanks be to God I'm living today. My case was critical. That's why they took away this my took away took off this my leg. The thanks be to God I'm living today and I'm doing things for myself. I decided to concentrate for once on the Ebwa. Ebwa as a local plant for the people who huba. It came from a very popular Cameroonian artist who he used to huba. Ebwa Lawton was his name and he sang beautiful songs across Africa. He had one unfunctional leg. So after him in Cameroon, any person with a leg problem is called an Ebwa. Chepe 
Il est moulé ma mango Waouh la qui sait Pa ta bolé moulé moulé na la qui sait There are many interesting things about this Eboise of Limbe. All on this set that I am concentrating on are professionals in one walk of life or the other. They have accepted the persons that they have become. It is not the case of myth with some other Eboise in the African society. As divas are dark, I realize why these Eboas have been able to sustain a living despite the very ugly situations that they find themselves in handicapping. They have sought to come together, identify their problems and are forging a way forward. <laughs> My name is uh, Mr. Ndoko Peter, President of the Limbe Association of Persons Living with Disabilities. As per this association, it was founded far back in 1974. And at now, we are having an enrollment of about 47 registered members. And uh, I might make the public to understand that we have cordial relationship with uh, the Department of the Social Affairs in FACO, which is headed by the delegate, Madam Irene. The Association of Persons Living with Disability was founded because we needed that the people living with disability should come together and have a common idea to see on how they can cater for themselves. For instance, like now like this, most of my, mem my members are self-employed. Why? Because we've made them to understand that living with, with this condition doesn't mean that we, don't, we are useless. We are also useful in the society because most of us are parents. Likewise, most people in the society who are even able people, they cannot even care, care type of families. But I can be proud to say most of my members are family people. They have wives and children that I, I have been sponsoring in schools. That is why we came out with this idea that we should be together so that we can advise ourselves on certain issues like as I've already mentioned. Well, my part as the Secretary General of the Association, I make sure that I take care of all the, our documents. I take minutes of the Association and I work in collaboration with the President to see that everything moves forward. Coming to the social aspect of their lives, these are men with Best wives and kids. They have been able to cross through the social myth of their situations. They have been able to find people who have accepted them for who they are. They have been able to love and be loved. Mister <laughs> 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 
What a very long time. Happy to, happy, happy to know where you live. Oh, madam. Oh, fine, I'm going to begin this. Wow. You're fine. No, madam, you're fine. No, thank you. Baby, how are you? You're fine. You're fine. Yeah? Fine, fine. Okay. You know, madam, this is my wife. This is my wife, they show you what? No, your wife is also my wife now. Alright, I knew her before coming here. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> have, have we never met on several occasions? <laughs> <laughs> we have met on several occasions, I cannot pass her on the way. Alright. <laughs> yes. So, madam, how many children do you have? I got three picking. Three children. And uh, tell us why you decide for marriage now this man way people then they were like oh tutu food and Because I love him. Ah. For my choice now go send for him. Yes. If if he want married a uh, disabled person who will help his friend. So he's supposed to marry a uh, able person so that I will help him for all things for one. And any other woman the way that they see them they say they not be nothing for them. You know say that the losses. Yes, because I the gain from me, it will the gain from me. Yes. Because some woman they, they when they look them so they speak. Even salad, you want salad them, they look them and say they be shit. But when a human being like them. So are you happily married? Very, very happy. I'm very happy. Happily married. <laughs> I'm very happy. When I see so I'll be happy. I want you to go outside, even if I come back, I must call because of the condition. I must call the axe, wait till you happen when I come back. I want you to go outside to wait, wait the stay, they will come to ask, tell me. Say they was supposed to have no place. So. And sometimes if you had to go find me, even after the association, I will see what they need. Actually, my wife met me as a handicapped person. When I approached her, as a god fearing somebody, she never took it as uh, anything. She believed that as I am, a, as I, I am human, there is nothing about it. She accepted me as I was. When actually I met her, when she left school, we were just like friends. We never knew that we come to that way. So when, you know, as a man, to see some interesting parts from her so i approached her one day just as a joke she took it as a joke also we were just clowning so that day was over like that so i went and met my uncle and i told my uncle that i've, I've seen somebody that i want to marry my uncle laughed the question my uncle asked me is that are you sure that she will marry you i said uncle i don't know so she went and saw the parents. They discussed and they called her. They asked her, Will you marry this man? She said, Yes. They said, she's, he's a I was not there. They said, The man is a handicap. He said, No. So the father said, Ah, you already know the man? She said, Yes. That is how we started and up to date. We are together. Well, we have three children. She is also a worker. She was working with the Limbe Stick Council. Now she is working with the one hospital at, the, at Down Beach, one government hospital at Down Beach. And she helped me financially. She assisted me to do one or two things. She, 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 she do everything that a man, could, a woman could do for her husband. My my wife used to push me. Maybe when I want to go to somewhere. That you know that I will have some difficulties on the way. She will prefer to move about even even 500 meters just to escort me to see that I have no problem on the way. Push you can push me to climb the hill and so on. If I need something, you take it and give it to me. Carry me water a bit and so on. Everything she is everything to me. Every day, as long as the Zebuas leave, their motto is hope and hard work they have accepted that they are different and the good people around them too have taken them for who they are it is in the modern world that handicaps have certain privileges 
special parking, special attention in public places, some allowances, lift for tall buildings and others. The case is not here, but recently some employers in Cameroon now think that Ibwas can walk. We are starving in broad daylight. Poverty crime for sure, no. It's not typical of black women there because the uh, council actually stands there because you know, they don't have to do it. It's a place where they don't have to do it. So, you know, like Mr. Peter, you just hope it. It's just hope with sitting at the counter there and you see people. He receives the users of the library and the library and it's very efficient. So it is not difficult working with them. They are women and at least think they can talk and they can find their way around in time in the community. The other person too is the same thing. I decided by mostly the on command. This is a good guy, but it's not very good command. I can make them. I can put those. And that, that, that one, that one where the yeah, sell for them. It's smaller than this one. Like this one, one does is too small. One does is too small. It's very surprising. Like I'm not even now, so I get command and say, "I'm not even alive." Even my job there is not possible. No, it's not even possible. But make more than. I'm not saying I'm alive. But tomorrow I get to go. Cry not for the pain of those people, but those who applaud them for accepting who they are and coming out of their social stigmatization, they have fought for themselves to be placed in the better place in the society, not like the situations in some of the places that they are treated like less humans. One important thing that I found out while living with these Ibuas for three days, taking turns in each one's house per day, is the happiness in your minds. Some have legs and are far richer, but I'm not so sure all of those real men we see in the society have the peace I've found in the minds and homes of these fellows. They are far better than some of us with all parts of our bodies functioning. If only these Ibwas had had an opportunity to have had a better training, and if only society had fully integrated them, if only people had sympathized with them and didn't look less at them, they would have been far off today. If only you pitied them. Miss Amorita de Nongona Bunga, Jeppe Superbori, Puri Majita, Nabi, Nongo Petembusa, Neymar Kisan, Nehi. Um, the people around Limbe normally the the upgrade the handicap the handicap persons because I might say when for instance we go out to ask for assistance to at least um, carry on some of our activities they do respond positive so we might not say the undergrade us but we say we are thankful to them because Anytime we knock their doors, their doors are widely open for us. There is definitely a reason why each and every one of those is who we are, why we look as we look, or why we are formed the way we are formed, or even why we think the way we think. The word I have learned from this was positive thinking is the key to success and happiness. The key to a peace of mind. 
It may be you. It may be someone close to you. Treat a handicap good today. Wahola kise pa tabole mulem lena la kise. Nasi benga mabunya bomele po nari bene dube. Nasi benga mabunya po bomele po nari bene de malakisa. Nothing in your heart, Harikon. 